It's a soon to be picture review with your host, Allison, the soon to be bitch. Today's review, Adam and Eve. <clears throat> well, this is a thing. By Jove, this is quite possibly the most marvelous movie of the decade. Okay, so maybe it isn't a movie, but, spoilers, there may or may not be a celestial being. Anyway, there was one to God, and they were like... Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait. And then the God decided that, you know what, it looked a bit barren. Maybe I'll create a nice garden. But then God thought, you know, the garden is nice, but it'd be better if there was someone to live here. So they created Adam, but Adam was a bit lonely, so God decided, you know what, I'll throw in a few animals, and maybe a lion for him to sleep with. But Adam was like, you know, I really don't want to fuck a lion. So God created Lilith. But because God had made Lilith more dominant and stronger than Adam, she was then punted out just for existing. And God created Adam's sister daughter wife, Eve, from one of his ribs. But then God punted an angel out of heaven because that angel did not blindly follow orders. And that angel decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go fuck up your garden and then bang the first woman you created. And create succubi. Now that is an objective that I can get behind. And so, because God had only made one rule for the garden, don't fuck with the tree of knowledge. The fallen angel decided to disguise himself as a snake got some legs for a bit, and then trick Eve into taking an apple from the tree. And so Eve became the first teacher, and because she attempted to share her knowledge with Adam, they were both planted out of the garden, resulting in several counts of incest and a little bit of fratricide. And then Adam and Eve broke up, Adam started banging his boyfriend Steve Harrington, and Eve opened the first university. Lilith and Lucifer then set up Hogwarts, and they both realized that God is a cunt, and probably made everyone exactly where they are so that all of these events would take place, because fuck it. And so, this was the most magnificent story of the decade. I especially like the part about the succubi orgy that is about to commence. But anyway, I still forgot to write an outro, so... Bye. <laughs>